I got it. I got blue attacks. No problem. Welcome to Snowden! The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. What's in here? Use the box? Of, well, I, I, I guess, yeah, I should. Uh, what do we not want? Faded ribbon? Tough glove? Snowman piece? Toy knife? I guess we can find... If it seems like something that, uh... We need the... The thing for. The, uh, faded ribbon. We can pick it up again. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that there was an armor system in this game. Item. Tough glove. Use. You equip tough glove. Okay, so I didn't even know you could do that! Well, in that case, let me get back that ribbon. And the toy knife. Item. The ribbon. Toy knife. I should actually look at what the flavor text is for all this. Snowman piece. Snowman piece. Heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Um, what else do we have? Tough glove. Attack 5. What about... Alright, that's good. So we're, we already have a tough glove. We don't have manly bandana. I don't know how much my uh, my ribbon gives me. I should check that out. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Heals 11 HP. You can eat it twice. Okay. Uh, say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden! I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What can I do here? You want to know what you can do here in Snowden? Grills, grill, uh, Grillbees has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can use a you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten, gotten a lot more interesting since then. Life is the same as usual. A little ca claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as, we have, as long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? What about the town history? Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived, lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the, uh, end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can burrow underneath the door, forget about it. Oh, she's so nice. Uh, let's check. How do I unequip? Heals 10 HP. Ew, it's already been used several times. Uh... I'm debating whether I want that bandana. I feel like I should get it. Oh, sorry. I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Oh, it makes sense. Let's go to the box. Let's put away the 
now we gotta equip it first. Equip the manly bandana. How much is the faded ribbon? Okay, yeah, definitely works. Definitely works a lot better than the, the ribbon. So we put away the ribbon, put away the tough glove. Actually, let me get the tough glove. Let's see which one is better, the tough glove or the toy knife. Yeah, I think it was only three. I think I saw. Put that away. Put the snowman piece away. Stick away. I think we're good with the rest. Welcome to Snowdin! Snowdin's premier hotel! One night is... Uh, it's kind of expensive! Well, feel free to come back anytime! I wanna go and talk to the thing. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Don't want to talk to the other side of the town? Or don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. That lady over there. Well, something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. <laughs> Awful teens tormented by a local monster's... Awful teens tormented by local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, so that's the history of Christmas. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. It's caref It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. So we can go to Grill Bees. Whoa. This does not look like the place I want to be. Hey, you remember me? thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leech to me and take me for a walk, please. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like, Spoil! And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting! I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys! Uh, I didn't know that was a, a female. Grilbs. Grilbs, I guess it was. Grilb said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're gonna start moving here. Huh. <laughs> I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see the city, some city slickers slip into their butts. Onto their, onto their butts. Sorry, guys. Jukebox is broken. I mean, is there anything else going on here I should know about? It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Okay. I put I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Okay, roll guard. Dean, she's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. So I wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Alright, that's all for that. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Crises. 
dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Such a, a good-natured town of monsters. Lib libra library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me some word searches and then ran... Sorry. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that. I thought this was a decoration. That look in your eye. You're someone who has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? I should actually probably read some of these things. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet patterned <laughs> birthday card. It's a school report about monster, monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn it to dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then, their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Was that supposed to be? I I don't know. I don't know. It just it seemed like it that that needed to be read in song. Monster history part four. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and ser searing heat until we reach what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Whoa. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is lab labeled Papyrus, yay! Yeah, look inside. It's empty. Sans has so much fan mail! Alright, let's take a look at Sans and Papyrus. Nah, it's locked. It's locked from the inside. Stuff's about to happen. I can feel it. <clears throat> Human! Allow me to tell you some about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool... Smart person, think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I... The Great Papyrus will be your... No. No. This is all wrong! I can't be your friend. You are a human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. 
Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks away. Here we go. What can we do? Check, flirt, insult? I mean, we try flirting with him. What? <laughs> flirting? So, you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Uh, I can... I have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're melting all... You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means... I have to go on a date with you? Let's sit later! After I capture you! Oh, he doesn't even want to attack me. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh... Alright, flirt. Oh no! Let's date later! After I... Okay, so... That's obviously not what we need to do right now. He's thinking about what to cook for his date. Anything I can give him? Butts pie? Papyrus likes to say, <laughs> I might not have a... Uh, I mean... Hmm, what's he doing? Dab some bone clone behind, behind his ear. Are we just gonna kind of... Uh, wait here. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later. I feel like we might have to find an item to give him. Do you want a spider donut? Oh, no, I want to give it to him! I should have brought one of those. <laughs> Alright, uh, we can't... So, you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! No problem. Turn blue! You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Alright, so flirting's not gonna work. Whoop! Jump pretty high. Should we try insulting him? Papyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. <laughs> That's good. I didn't want to insult him anyway. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Oh, crap. Okay. I can almost taste my future popularity. Whoa! That was sneaky. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh, oh God! Whoa! Considering his options. Unparalleled Spaghettor! Ow! It smells like bones. Dean will be really proud of me! Got it. Papyrus is considering his options. Alright, let's just keep the sparing going. It seems to be the only thing that's moving the 
battle forward. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. We should probably heal up. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, so we gotta do shorter jumps. Papyrus is rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Ow. Papyrus is considering his options. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? to flirt back after you're captured and sent away Ooh. <laughs> who cares give up Ooh. oh crap give up or face my special attack the bandage. Still kind of- that's so gross. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! You're never gonna do it, Papyrus. I don't- I don't think you have it in you. You're just a skeleton. You have nothing in you. Not too long and I will use that special attack! Chance before my special attack. Whoop. Whoop. All right, come on, special attack. Bring it. Come on. Behold my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. What? Whoa! This is way more impressive, Papyrus. Oh god, it hurts. Whoop. Whoop. Lol. Dude. Ouch. <sighs> Did I do it? your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Oh, did it. No. I can't. 
can't even stop someone as weak as you. Dean's gonna be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Well, loser, no, never. Let's be friends, Pyrus. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people off of puzzles and invite them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll, e I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical sea trapping us all underground. Anything can, e can anything can enter through it. Nothing can, I can't see, nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamor, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. What are you doing? What about Sans? I need to talk to Sans. I'm yeah, you're right. Uh, there are many. I absolutely ham it up. It's it's one of the things I enjoy about uh, <laughs> about doing these videos. Uh, no no Hearthstone with the ups the updates are super interesting. Uh, I've played a little bit of Hearthstone. I think you know, it's it's not that much different yet. There's only one wing of uh of Grand uh, Great Explorer or no. God, I forgot. I always forget what that the name of that expansion is. The uh, Great Explorers. Ah, whatever. Anyway, uh, actually, you know what? I think I might call an end to this video right now. The sight of such a friendly, uh, friendly town fills you with determination. 120 minutes. We've gone for about what? How long have we gone for today? This has been going for 53 minutes. Yeah, I think that's enough for, for now. I'll probably jump back in maybe later today. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this on Twitch, well, thank you. Thank you for checking this out live. Uh, this is going to go up on YouTube. And hopefully I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.